When I was here as a student, my fondest memories include the morning announcements. But I'll say, come to school and say, Assalamu alaikum and good morning, Grenadians. The one big thing that I remember is the compassion, like just the love from the teachers. I felt like it was a really nice environment, really warm, comforting. You never felt like out of place or anything like that. And even as, as I came back here as a teacher, same, same um, uh, environment I feel from the staff and from the teachers. I think um, Granada School is so uh, unique because see, anytime you can have an institution that helps shape the personality um, uh, of, of other people, that's, that's really a blessing. I love the camaraderie, I love the atmosphere. You know, it's an Islamic atmosphere in that um, the, the, the teachers are real close with the students. Students are close with the teachers, um, and that makes for a, a family type atmosphere. And that makes all the difference in the world. I would say to the per, um, uh, about this Granada Islamic School is first I would start off by saying if you want a uh, nice environment, a safe environment where people you get, are comfortable to going to school every day and not having to be or not having to worry about like what people are thinking about like especially if you're a Muslim, um, this is the place for you. Like, a well, it's a good environment. Not only did like our science teachers and our math teachers teach us math and science, they taught us math and science and then also related it back to Islam. It was always, there was always a religious uh, aspect to it. So they kind of kept us in check and like, for example, like anything from uh, picking up a piece of trash off the floor. It wasn't, it's not yours, but still like it's just you're respecting the environment, you're respecting other people, you're respecting the people that are supposed to clean it up or whatever. The best lesson I learned from my teachers was respect, ethics, uh, honesty, trust, friendship. These are all things that instilled proper morals and characteristics that built a foundation that still are with me today that I also try to instill in my students even though we just go through reading. I try to teach them prop the proper way to sit, the proper way to raise their hand when they have a question stuff like that. So um, last year, being the, my first year in Granada, um, the, one of the challenges I faced was I had to, for the first time, I had to present something in front of my class by myself. I found that very um, challenging and like very scary. So, but after I finished, they gave me like a round of applause, which like relieved me from my stresses for, and they actually, um, deeply, they, they actually enjoyed it, and um, that taught me that like they're actually real trust, like they're real friends. Like you know, they they're there when you need them. Every single classroom I walked into, every single teacher said, "You need to be a self-directed learner." And so I sat there. I became a self-directed learner, and I would actively go do my own assignments. If I needed help, I would go ask for help. I would not feel shy, I would not feel like I was intellectually inferior or anything like that. And it made me become uh, a leader of other sorts. I started helping out my friends. I would go out and help and give back in the community or at my high school or at my university. And that's something that helped me both academically and socially. It's like each step that we take, we have to make sure that um, we stay in that spiritual mode. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's really the challenge for all of us, you know, in our lives. You know what I'm saying? We go through different stages. I would like to see it as a big name school. Like, you know, when people say, oh, this kid went to Harker, or this kid went to Notre Dame. I want people to say, oh, this kid went to Granada Islamic School. And the way to do that is to, I think, have our generation come back and help each other out and learn from our the best examples we could have, our former teachers. And I would like to see Granada expanded, a high school 9 to 12. Bigger campus, more resources. What would I wish for Granada? Just more support from the alumni and the parents and everything, just because I know that not everything is that we need is here. So just more support from everybody around us, that everyone from the community, everything like that. 
everyone gets involved, helps out. They do an amazing job here. There's tons of parents volunteering all the time, but just emphasizing that more and putting putting more on the community to help out Granada and, and, and help Granada grow because in the end, it's their kids that are going to be going here. And it's, you're investing in, in the future, basically.